Welcome back to another card pickup video. I just came back from Diamond 9. Picked up a decent amount of cards, some cool cards, some different things that I haven't seen. So I'll start with this one. I got it from a vendor. Uh, sticker price is 25, but online a lot of them do like 15. So I decided to let him know. And he worked with me and he did 15. And what's pretty cool about this card is it's a game used jersey, jersey patch. It's got Vlad, Pujols. Uh, those are two Angel Legends. Uh, Pat Burrell is decent. Jason Giambi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And on the back, there's four more. I like Manny Ramirez, personal, and uh, Frank Thomas. So this one's probably just going to go for the personal collection. It's paid 15 which is, you know, just the price that it's about worth so I think it's a good pickup that I haven't seen in, for the personal collection so pretty happy about that next I got a lot of cards uh, got this Matsui rookie this uh, Rodriguez Alex Rodriguez rookie foil Sean Figgins out of 99 patch uh, Ernstead Ernstad auto on card auto um not official but from probably from like a game or spring training tony romo patch hollow uh lamar odom warm-up jersey and uh there was i think there was oh yeah i think that was the next set i got i paid uh 25 for this which is i wouldn't say like I got a huge deal on it, but I, I think I paid a good price for it. Um, this this A-Rod was, was only going for $4 online. Um, I thought, uh, I was pretty surprised about that. I guess it's like, I thought it'd be worth more because it's a foil rookie. But um, I guess like this year, 2000 and, or 1994, A-Rod is a legend, but uh, possible roid controversy but it's a really clean card foil uh home run king kind of legend up there um and then matsui just a base rookie it's kind of a nice card uh pretty happy about this the sean figgins probably probably good price probably like worth like about the price on sticker out of 99 i'm liking like the numbered ones too i'm starting to look at more numbered cards um if it's just numbered then i would i would probably see like i wouldn't pay too much um but if it has like an autograph or a jersey with the number it makes me a bit more interested in the card and these are i'd say nothing too special um this one's just for the personal angels collection so pretty nice i'm starting to build up a really nice angels pc collection so this was definitely the pickup of the day and the best P psa pickup i have done in a while so recently with uh psa um i've been i kind of sold all sold off a lot of my eights and nines because they're not really worth anything anymore and it's all about psa 10 i was kind of worried about that but in the past i did buy a lot of nines because nine it is like one of my favorite numbers or is my favorite number so so for something like vintage maybe like a charizard or something i wouldn't be mad if i got a nine instead of a 10 or something but for modern cards i definitely say i would stick with the tens like i would rather have like one ten than like five nines and uh the market definitely messed me up on that because i had a bunch of ruiz that I paid like 40 bucks for on the not on the nine and then the hundred the ten at the time was like I think it was worth like I, pay, I paid like 80 or something and then it went up a lot more to like maybe 150 but then like now Ruiz are not worth anything so I think the 10 is I haven't looked it up but uh I know that nine is only worth like five to ten bucks and if I had to guess the 10 would be worth like 20 to 50. Uh, that's a huge range, but basically it's just 
showing me that like nine is not worth anything like it's pretty much worth the same price as a raw card so i decided to sell off all my modern nines and eights uh and just focus on getting some cool cool like autograph or jersey patch raw cards or going for that 10 but something i picked up today was a uh, mark spitz autograph certified on card auto really happy about this this is definitely the pickup the biggest pickup i've had in a while uh, i paid 30 bucks on the lot with these two gave me a really good deal i was kind of i was i definitely wanted to i definitely wanted to get it when i was walking around because it was like a card i haven't seen it's one of those unique cards that you don't see every every day but um he did seem like he had a little bit of room to work with so i i threw these in this is a fletcher bees this is a minor league card so you could consider this a rookie card and um a dwight howard jersey patch nothing too special but i was able to throw these in with this one for 30 bucks and 30 dollars is a really good price for this um online i saw sold and listed that um a mark spitz autograph card this this specific card uh raw goes for about 20 bucks and uh that's pretty nice uh there's like a psa 10 of this card not autographed i think it was like about 80 or 80 or 100 um this one is really clean i did check that when i bought it I can't like guarantee you it's a 10 but it's definitely something like over eight or over um maybe a nine or ten i don't really see any problems but there's just no guarantee um but i saw oh after i got back i saw online that um there's like graded ones of these they're not like the red psa like this but other graded ones of this card were going for about or they were listed for 80 so they haven't sold but they were listed for 80 and this is a better card because it's a red psa so i'm thinking like if i had to put like a price on this right now it'd probably be like 100 maybe like at best 150 but no lower than like 80 so for 30 dollars i think i got a really good pickup but this is just, I'm not going to resell this instantly. I'm going to keep this for the personal collection. And uh, this is definitely going to be the pickup of the day. Uh, pretty happy about this Mark Spitz. So this is the guy that had uh, seven gold medals. Uh, I'm not sure if they were world records, but he was the one that um, Michael Phelps beat. He, he was the, his record was the record that Michael Phelps beat for the uh, eight gold medals. So it's a pretty good auto like I'm sure if this was like Michael Phelps would be worth like too much but I was surprised that this was going for $30 and um I mean Olympic cards aren't like the most popular thing but like I personally like swimming like in Olympics so this is definitely like one of the top tier finds in terms of that like this and then there's like Phelps um if I could find like a Katie Ledecky like that would be like the top like top five that would like this would be in the top five conversation of like swimming cards so to find an autograph two of it that was like really nice so i'd say this these two are definitely the pickups of the day got i paid like the right price on this got a really good deal on this and then some smaller cards for the pc pretty happy about this uh auto and uh my jersey patch card so those are my pickups from diamond nine diamond nine is really solid have a good set of vendors a little less busy today than before but just uh solid vendors so i would recommend that place and uh i look forward to picking up a little bit more in the future all right so hopefully you enjoyed the video probably come out with a couple more Peace.